So I'm having some fried quail while I watch Poto Mac. Um, cute little Chinese place down the street. It's really good. How would I describe the taste of quail? Rich, consistency of chicken, but not gamey. Almost like pork, I would say. But a rich taste, sweet, almost like a whiny taste. It's got body. Now, what is Gabrissi doing in a jewelry store in this faux fur jacket with short sleeves? Oh my God. It's always, what the hell does she have on with Gabrissi? Gabrissi, you really think you gonna marry cheating Jamal? And where's Jamal? How you going ring shopping by yourself? You looking at engagement rings and ain't engaged. Girl, get your Kenya Moore on. Oh, Juan show up and she looking for um Mr. Dixon. Child, you better just throw a ban on that masculine hand and call it a day. I mean, look at her head. If she don't give a crap about her hair, she don't care about a ring. Ha <laughs> ha, 59,000. He was saying, wait, that said 5,900, right? 5,900. I can do 5,900, 59,000. You got to go somewhere with that. I mean, heck, that's twice Robin's tax debt. You know what? She don't need a ring. You need to just put that money on her tax debt. Get that half of something from Claire's. He needs five flex payments from QVC. Ha, he said eight to ten. That's how much I got, eight to ten. And she needs that ten for her tax debt. You're $90,000 in debt to the IRS. You ain't got $10,000. So Momo working on her live podcast show for Not For Lazy Moms. So Momo's embarrassed that she, you know, whooped on Candace. But Candace was asking for it. So Momo gone see if the girls are going to come to her live event. Or if she's still on the outs. Ha! <laughs> she called Robin. Robin said, uh, let me think about it. Robin, like, you got something else to do. Who put this ponytail in Robin's? And this is a wig. Where did Robin get this damn wig from? Is this a Vivica Fox wig? You look a fool in this confessional. So Karen's gonna go and then she gonna call Wendy for what? Wendy ain't a friend. Oh Lord, Wendy gonna say, well you didn't have any remorse and I can't support when somebody's hurt. So Candace can act all the ass that she want. Ooh, Wendy. I really hope you don't come back next season. Okay, why are we talking about all this growth, growth, growth? It's been two weeks. There ain't been no time for growth. You just got to remorse. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't deal with Karen and her coot at the life coach. I, I am happy with Lady Eloise this season, but um, girl, no. Is anybody else sick of this Ray and Karen shit? We got another scene with Wendy, but not another cast member in sight. All right, so now Wendy having an event and inviting Gabrissi, but I swear Wendy must have the strongest neck to support all them bundles she keeps in her head. Oh, and of course she's inviting everyone except for Monique and Gabrissi. It's like, good call. Oh, Jesus. She's having many panic attacks about what could happen next. Well, if you sit down and act like you have some sense, nothing. I mean... Your mama's been popping you all your life. So I don't know why Monique dragging you is an issue. You 30 years old still getting hit in the mouth with purses. So maybe you should realize, oh, if I've been doing this behavior for 30 years and getting popped for it for 30 years, maybe I should stop. So Candy tells Wendy, you know, me and Karen ain't that good right now because she was backpedaling and pussy popping about telling me to... Call police. Oh, God, now Gabrissi and Jamal in the car talking about their little fake relationship. Oh, Jesus Christ, I cannot listen to him for more than two seconds. Oh, my God, Chris is right. He has the most, there's something about his, it, it's so grating, so condescending, so it's like a, a deeper voice T.I. I can't do it. Ho, why is you here? I had to mute that shit, honey. Best fiend. He is nothing to look at. All right, so we're at the Not For Lazy Moms live podcast. So, of course, Ashley shows up to support. Oh, Karen couldn't show up because she wasn't feeling well. I, I, I believe it. I believe it.
Oh, God. Now, everybody, I, Wendy's going to say, until she proves she knows how to act right. Do you know how to act calling random women bitches that you've known for 10 minutes? You don't know how to fucking act. Um, did she learn a lesson in two weeks? No, Robin, but uh, you tried to start shit with her, too. Oh, and now Ashley's telling Monique, well, you know, Karen said she'd press charges. Ooh, that lying lady, Eloise. Monique did the retracto head. What? Ashley like, okay, my ass is starting to feel better now. Her tear must be healing because she getting messy again. So the host of the dang show, when she just told her don't bring up the physical altercation, the first question is, what's your relationship like with Candace at this Not For Lazy Moms podcast? That ain't got nothing to do with lazy or moms. Child, so now Robin out at Dave and Buster's with the family, and y'all can't afford this. I mean, fortunately, Juan ain't in debt because, you know, y'all are divorced, so at least your debt's your debt. But uh, I don't know why the hell he'd marry your foolish ass. Girl, Robin's scared of what her parents have to say. You done been broke before. Like, they used to your stupidity. Who is Robin's father? Because I'm looking at these parents, and um, I could kind of see it, but Robin got a white daddy. Because that man, that is not her pappy. He might have raised her, but um, that, mm -mm, that wasn't his semen. Because Robin is a white woman. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but she is. Girl, why are they in the chat calling Robin Robert? Robert Dix. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. So Juan tells Robin's parents he gonna propose, but it's like they got two kids together. I don't know, like, okay, how do you feel about it? Y'all already have kids. Like, you've been, you've been family for years. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, God, now we've got Wendy's event. I don't want to look at her. Oh, God, Gabrissi in this red lace shirt. Looks like a menstrual doily. What the fuck is on Robin's head? Robin went to the beauty supply and said, you know what? I'm going to take this $75 and get as many wigs as possible. Ain't nobody here for this wig. <laughs> Candace said I'd burn it, but it would melt because it's synthetic. And it did look itchy, itch. Scratchy scratch, it's crinoline in Potomac. All right, so Gabrissi's telling everybody about Karen um, having to give Ray half her money to get them out of that tax debt. So we've got to be kind to Karen. Gabrissi, you ain't shit. And you gonna st you're going to either instigate something or help instigate something. Girl, you do not want to be a friend to Karen. You just want to get up in her business. Meanwhile, Candace and Karen have their little sit down. Oh God, Candace, you've made so many excuses for Monique. You're choosing a side. Oh, okay, Karen's like, look, I got on your heffin' ass a year ago. I protected you a year ago. I was your friend when you were on the outs with everybody because you were an ass, a butter knife wielding ass. So Karen tell Candace, look, I'll be your auntie. But uh, you ain't gonna tell me what to do, and I'm cool with Momo, okay? Oh, God, now Karen's saying something is wrong medically with Monique. See, you don't say that about your friends, especially when you don't have a license to diagnose. Now, here's the thing. We could talk about your coot-ass husband, because he's walking around looking truly confused. Sundowning, if you will. I think he's dabbling in dementia. Now, that's not nice for me to call your coot out, so don't you talk about Momo's mental state. So now Wendy and Karen getting into it over Karen not holding Monique accountable. Yeah, everybody, like she said, you fucked up, but it also doesn't mean that you throw the person away. We make mistakes. We're human. But Wendy, you just, oh, just on this sickening high, you ain't gotta hold her accountable. Who are you? I agree with Karen. You sound very ignorant. Oh, God, Candace, I'm hurt because I'm the one who was attacked. Girl, give this heifer a golden globe, well, not a golden globe, a silver globe for playing best victim on Housewives. Don't grab my pussy. Don't grab my pussy. 
I'm your cameraman. I don't want to be anything more to you. I swear, don't grab my pussy. I'm not attracted to you. You look like Yoda and the Gullah.